Hi everybody, I hope everyone's doing well and I hope everybody's ready for the new year. If you can call it the new year. It's only the Gregorian calendar new year because the original new year actually starts in spring when it gets warmer, not when it's cold. Um, but yeah, of course, I've changed that. So, two years later guys and we're still at the same old bollocks, isn't it? UK daily CV cases hit new pandemic high of 189,213 idiots thinking that tests are real. And that's the reason why all this is going ahead. Got the 33 there. Surprised it isn't 322. <laughs> um, Christmas data backlog is cleared and hospital admissions in England almost doubled. So we can see where it's going with all this crap. UK helps. Uh, uh, security agency logged 189,213 bullshit, well, idiot tests, shall we say. So positive idiot tests, because that's what people tested posit positive for, idiocy. In another world record for daily reported CV cases. A further 332 people have died within 28 days. 28 days later, you know, the movie 28 Days Later, Zombie Apocalypse, you know, CDC's got on their website about what would happen if a zombie outbreak happened. <laughs> Just makes me think of that, doesn't it? 28 days later. Of testing positive with data including backlogs from the 24th to the 29th. Yeah, just the same old crap, in it. You know, and if you haven't seen what I put on my post on my, on my YouTube channel... I just said that, you know, it when we had 2020, in the nutshell, it was just lockdowns for two weeks to flatten the curve. And then it ended up running to the end of the year. And then after that, throughout the year, they tried in, in enforcing the mass mandates. And then at that time, injection passports were just a theory, weren't they, in, 20, in 2020. Then come tw 2021, uh, you know, the mass mandates were still in place. The lockdowns were still in place. And it was more tyrannical, more oppressive than ever. And they were talking about injection passports. You know, now they're talking about injection passports in the mainstream media, which was which the same people are talking about them now were calling other people like us conspiracy theorists a year ago. You know. And still, you know, the microchips and the social credit system is still seen as a conspiracy theory, even though it's starting to light it's showing to light now with what if you've seen what's gone on in bloody Sweden? I'll see if I can find it in a minute. Uh, but then I, I've gone to put that in 2022, this is how it will go down. The mass mandates will still be there, the strict lockdowns, the strictest lockdowns we've ever had, and guaranteed two jobs for every six months for the next seven to eight years. I mean, they're already talking about that now in places like Australia. So that's two jobs every six months for the next seven to eight years. Social credit system rolls out, uh, you know, and we'll what we'll also see is uh, major smart cities will come into talks into the mainstream media uh, with the social credit system. I, I'll say there'll be some Western cities testing out the new social credit system next year as well. That will come into place. We'll see that. It won't be every big city, but it'll be the big major ones. So if it came to the UK, it would be places like Birmingham or Manchester or some other major city that will test this out. Um, and they might even start talking about injecting microchips into people through the injection passports. You see, guys, everything that people say is just a conspiracy theory ends up turning into reality. You know, a lot of the stuff that people said, I know there's been a few diversions. So yeah, be careful when you're being warned because it might be your last chance. You know, it might be your last chance to fight back, which it has been. You know, there's almost nothing stopping what's coming now. So we have to save ourselves, really. That's all we can do. There's still hope we can turn it around, but, you know, you look at where people are, you really think that's going to happen? But people are fighting back, so there's still hope. But it's very, very narrow. The window of opportunity is so narrow. Like, next year, if people don't wake up and turn things around, that's it. 
we are literally at a knife edge guys yeah so check this out from china morning post let's look at this shall we let's watch this guys So this Swedish company says it has a chip that can hold information about your jab status. It's so small you can embed it into your arm. The chip uses pre-existing technology that the firm was already developing. See, so they were already developing it. But we were just called conspiracy theories, weren't we, a year ago? They were probably developing it while we were being called conspiracy theories, theorists. You know, the same people calling us conspiracy theorists are the ones that are developing this crap. The mark of the beast. Stockholm-based Epicenter has been working on human compatible tech for years. Why would you want to inject something like this into your body? Why? You know, <laughs> it's unbelievable where it's going, guys. So first it's the passports on your phones and you know you can see this will go into the mainstream next year the bbc will start talking about it in 2022 sky news will start talking about it you know it's just the need it to be at the right time it can send data to any any eff com Compatible device such as smartphones. The technology is not new, but is used in humans has grown popular in the last decade. Yeah, I know in Sweden it is a big thing. Some idiots still get it. The first person to have a microchip implanted was Kevin Warwick. Warwick, interesting, isn't it? Name Kevin Warwick. <clears throat> the epicenter claims to be the procedure is completely reversible. The chips are not yet for sale, so she has one in her hand. What, what, what pet code did she just put in there? Hold on. Three, two, one, was it? Two, one. Yeah, okay, nothing major. I thought it would be something like 666, but <laughs> surprised it wasn't. It's also known for throwing parties when employees get chipped. Oh, right, so, you know, if you, if you want to go into a nightclub in the future, guys, you've got to have one of these bad boys in you. These beast things in you. Part of the transhuman agenda. You won't be able to, like it says in Revelations, you won't be able to buy or sell anything without the mark. So, yeah, it, this, these things are coming to light. You know, South China Morning Post, knowing that, I mean, 2.66 million subscribers, knowing that most people in the west won't watch this <laughs> i find it a bit weird actually how like some of the eastern or should i say what we're told is you know like rt like russia today or china post some of these other countries are more exposing this stuff more than what we do in the west it's, it's very weird how they get the information before we do yet we're told that we have more freedom of press than they are, which is, to me, it's a load of shite. Just propaganda again. All right, guys, I'll leave it there. So, yeah, it's not going away. It won't go away. They'll continue to push it as long as people allow it. It's as simple as that, guys. All right, cheers. And I, I do hope everyone has a good new year, and I hope 2022 is a better year for everyone but you have to make it a better year don't you you can't just let things happen you have to do things yourself sometimes you can't wait for a savior all the time guys you know cheers guys